Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Kosem Fishing. We're chilling in the gallery today again. No fishing as yet. We're still under lockdown, but things kind of getting a little eased up a little bit. So we should be fishing soon. Today's chilling in the gallery episode number four. First one we did a little cooking, answering. Um, the next one. What are we doing? Episode number three. Let me check back there. Yeah, well, it's episode four, Chill in the Gallery. We did the first one, answer any questions. Then we did the trips that never made it on YouTube. We talked about that. And the last one was how to play all fours. Had no more fishing footage, so just throwing that one there. And didn't see any other video on YouTube with how to play all fours. So my video, I think, is the first video on YouTube explaining how to play all fours. Remember, check it out. Share it with anybody you think might be useful too. Today, we're going to talk about how to use the moon when you're fishing. Yes, the moon. The thing is being the sky. Uh, a lot of talk, people always talk, you know, about moon phases and when is the best time to fish. Um, and I am someone who definitely believes in the moon. I mean, and how it affects fishing. Might be slightly different from what you think. Um, moon and tide chart are the two things we're going to talk about today and how they work. In the past, you've heard probably the older folks saying uh, fish don't bite on certain moons. Like some people say, fish don't bite on full moon because the fish mouth is be soft. No, um, I don't really. I'm not 100 percent sure if that's how accurate that is, but that's not what I'm going to talk about today. So what I'm going to talk about today is how the moon phase affects the tides and the currents, and that's how I think it affects fishing. Tide and current in fishing is very important. Each different moon phase, meaning new moon, first quarter, full moon, last quarter. Each of them affects the tide slightly differently and also the current which means the, how fast the water is moving in one particular area and like I said I think that's key in fishing okay so when I say each one affects the current differently the moon phases like for example new moon and full moon has the most current meaning the most water pull in the ocean and the rivers that's affected by the ocean last quarter and first quarter is not as much current now the reason for that being is the tide is the highest and the lowest in new moon and full moon. I think in new moon is be a little bit higher and a little bit lower. Um, it, could, it can be vice versa, full moon higher lower. In last quarter and first quarter, it does not get as high or doesn't get as low tide that is. So basically that can pretty much show you why the current is stronger during certain moon phases. If more water has to pass through the system in the same amount of time, obviously it has to pass through faster. So that's why during new moon and full moon, the current is stronger. More water is passing through the system and has to do it in the same amount of time, same 24 hour period as it would be in last quarter and first quarter. And now I'm gonna show you that on the computer screen. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you now is a graph or a table of the moon phases and the tide chart combined in one. What I go to on to check that is just go on Google, type in, well, we're in Trinidad Tobago, so we're going to Trinidad. Tide chart Trinidad. Pull it up. And the one I usually use is tides.mobilegeographics.com. Now that has locations throughout the world. We're doing Trinidad right now. So you'll see Port of Spain, Trinidad, Tide chart. I'm just going to scroll down current month fifth so we're going to check for the month view so we have a better look at it and this is what comes up right here right so we have the month of may 2020 first to 31st now what you're going to be seeing is the different moon phases check this column right here phase full moon last quarter new moon first quarter generally you hear people saying that and the best times to fish is three days after the last quarter, three days after the first quarter. Why they say that? Well, basically, why it's this because every time there's three days after the quarter moon, there's a high tide around midday, just after midday. So if you go fishing on that day, and you're fishing from the morning, say you start fishing from seven, you get a rising tide from about seven straight up until lunchtime. People generally say rising tide is the best time to fish. That's why generally they say three days after the quarter moon is a great day to fish. I agree to that. In some places, definitely, definitely helps out a lot. Other people say full moon is big fish moon. That also is true for certain places. We'll talk a little bit more about after, but let's take a look at the chart to see what I said is true. All right, let's start off with 
the size of the tides for full moon Thursday the 7th of May high tide is 4 to a.m. as 1.08 meters now that's 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 the high tide that's how high the water gets and then it goes straight across the low tide 0 0.19 meters that's a big difference from 1.08 to 0 0.19 go across again the next high tide usually tides are in six hour phases so high tide to low tide is six hours low tide to the next high tide is about six hours you can tell that from the chart as well so like about 10 41 a.m then the low tide is about almost six hours after 4 51 p.m 0.97 meters and then six hours after that is 0.37 meters so you can take a look at that immediately and see the drops in the tide now let's go to last quarter so i know at low tide in the morning around 249 it's 0.63 meters going to high tide it's 0.88 meters you see that gap is much smaller than versus in the full moon so that means less water has to pass through so the current will obviously be a lot less and you go across again six hours after the next low tide is a 431.44 meters and the next high tide six hours after 0.78 meters immediately looking at those figures you can see that the amount of water passing through the system in that 24 hour period is less than the full moon and like i said before that means less current in the water important very important fishing when i go to new moon um, similarly um, high tide again is usually in the morning around 3 38 we've seen it here on the new moon on the 22nd of May so that is 1.05 meters and low tide is 0.29 meters which is six hours after around 1027 I go across again and you see the same thing six hours six hours the tide drops the tide gets higher and also gets lower than in the quarter moon and like I said three days after last quarter high tide should be around 12 ish so let's take a look at that so 14 15 17th high tide is 12 46 p.m. Time is efficient from seven, you're gonna rise in tide all the way up until that time. That's why they say three days after the quarter moon is a good time to fish. Now, how this moon phase and tide chart can help you in fishing. Say perhaps you have to enter and exit through a river system through the shallows to go out to a fishing area. Always take a look at these charts before. Some guys, even though they're fishing for years, they still get caught up in low tide and the boat gets stuck in the mud because the water is simply too low. But if you take a look at this before, you know when you should not be trying to enter the river system or should be trying to exit the river system. For example, you look on a day that's a low tide, like say for the full moon it was 0 0.19 meters. That tide is like very low. So you shouldn't be exiting or entering the river system anywhere between two hours before or two hours after that because the water will be extremely low. So even from 8, 8 to 8 a.m., till about 1 p.m. you should be nowhere in the shallowest part of the river or the river mouth because you could get stuck so take a look at it before you go fishing to avoid those problems okay now that you know the basic understanding of the moon phase versus the tide how I want to tell you to start using it to your advantage in fishing like I say most people have their times that they say is the best time for fishing but the best way to use it is to develop your own system Meaning, if you go fishing in the same place over a certain number of times, every time you go, take a look at what the moon is and what the tide is. Write it down. Put it in your phone. Anything. And if you have a successful trip on that day, at that time, you make a note of it. If after a couple of times you see that pattern emerging, that's when you should key in on fishing those areas. So, I'm not going to say everywhere you go, Three days after last quarter is the best place to fish. No, it doesn't work like that. Some places the best time to fish is full moon. Biggest fish bite in full moon because they want the most current. So for different types of fishing, the moon and the tide will work differently. Like I always say for shore fishing, I always prefer full moon or new moon because you get the highest high tide. So I think the fish could come in a little closer because the water is higher than it will be during last quarter and first quarter. Even in the rivers itself, like um, rivers has come close into that, you're fishing close to the sea. Normally, there's some low tides, the river is very low, maybe a foot deep. So on the high tides of the new moon and the full moon, it'll be a couple feet deep. And that's when I think the biggest fish might be able to come into the river system. Other than that, like if you're fishing, say in a river, like uh, say the Blue River or the Felicity River, normally you'd fish on after the quarter moon because the current is more bearable. Sometimes on the new moon and the full moon, the current of fish in those rivers 
are pretty strong and fishing can be a little bit difficult. Similarly, like if fishing down the islands, patos, doing banking, and if fishing on a full moon or a new moon, like on the moon itself or just after the moon, current is pretty strong at times and you have to use heavy weights to get down there to catch fish. But again, some people believe in big moon, big current for big fish. It's just for you to figure out those places that you need a big current to catch big fish. I think like down the islands, especially for like the redfish and, and mutton snappers and red snappers in certain areas, they bite more on the full moon or the heavy current. Again, you have to be willing to use heavy weights to get down there and you have to pull line. You pull in three pounds against heavy current, it's some arm strength you need. So that's how you have to time it. Every time you go fishing somewhere and you have a successful time, if you didn't check it before, go back home and check it. It was last quarter, it was two days before last quarter, fish bite on the high tide, which is around 12, and you note it down. And then, as like I said, the more you fish in that, that same place over a period of time, you get those notes down and you can develop your own pattern for success and also your own pattern for not going to fish daddy. Now there are always variables to the rule. Some days fish just bite, some days bounce up a school of fish and you just have a great time. But in general, I think the moon and the tide definitely affects fishing. So guys, make use of it. Hope this video was a little bit enlightening if you would know some of the things before. Um, something good to know. And like I, I am for one, believe that it definitely affects your fishing performance. So thanks a lot for watching this episode of Coast and Fishing, chilling in the gallery again. Hoping to go fishing very soon. If any captains out there, you know, willing to carry me out to catch some fish, message me below. We definitely glad to join you. You know, just happy to be on board and catching some fish. So hopefully I get out there soon. Thanks for watching guys. As always, please keep fishing. Fish on.